prayer that moves God. Apostle Matt Primus. This is how you do prayer that moves God. You pray according to the scriptures. So you hold on to a verse. Even the prayers of a righteous man are effective and powerful. You hold on to it and you begin to say it over and over. Make that prayer your praise. And you begin to speak that into your prayer. As you pray your heart out. As you prayed about what you're concerned about. As you prayed about what uh, what ails you or what is bothering you. So you got to learn how to use the scripture after you pray your concerns and what worries about you. And you got to say that the prayers of the righteous man are, are powerful and effective. The prayers of the righteous man are powerful and effective. The prayers of the righteous man are powerful and effective. Because that's what I do in my prayer. I just... uh. I say my concerns, I say my worries, and then I begin to uh, declare. I begin to declare the word of God. Whatever the Holy Spirit put in my mind, the scripture, the interpretation, I declare it, and it becomes powerful because it takes your mind off of what you're going through. It takes your mind off your emotions. It takes your mind off your feelings. And it begins to uh, uh, it begins to strengthen you and encourage you and build you up. Then that's what it, then it leads you into shouting because that's what I, I said. Also, the part of prayer is shouting. Not just only praise and worship, but shouting and praising God, thanking Him for the victory that is already done. And you do that through shouting over a verse and praising Him over a verse. And begin crying out to God because uh, that's what is part of praying is quoting scriptures. Reminding God loves to hear us remind him of his word. He loves to hear us remind him of his word and his promise. And that's what you got to do to repeat those scripture promises. Find one scripture. That is that connects to where you are concerned about and begin to repeat it at least three times and then begin to shout over that verse and declare the victory over what you're going through, over what you've been through. And that's how you pray uh, that moves God. That's how you move God. That's how you get God to answer your prayers. That's how you get God to move it on your behalf. That's how you get God to hearing you and a, and a moving and interceding for you.